Hello everyone, it's December 13th, 2020, and I wanted to do a technical analysis video on NEO, the EV Chinese company that is all the hype these days. But I just wanted to point out some observations because I see a lot of videos out there on YouTube and a lot of these young guys are telling you why you should buy NEO. And I'm not saying it's a bad company, but let me zoom this in here. I wanted to show you something that's very important, where the stock is, the price action is today. This yellow line here on my chart, I like my 20 to be yellow. That's your 20-day moving average. On Friday, actually before Friday, they, they've been struggling to keep this above the 20-day. Okay? That is not a bullish sign from a technical analysis perspective. Now, here's your 50-day down here, this blue line. And yes, it is above the 50-day period moving average. But they are shorting this stock. The only thing, in my opinion, that would bring it up, and it is an opinion, this is not financial advice. Um, if you look down here also, where my cursor is, that's volume. That volume is red, and that's a lot of red. Okay? So you have, um, you know, almost four red days that did bounce. That was short covering, maybe, right? And then people with hopium trying to get in there thinking they're getting at a good price. Now the fact is, NEO went up good. Right here back um, in November 24th, it was well above the 20 day moving average. The way I trade, now this is the daily chart too, so I hope you understand that. Um, the way I trade, if it's that far above the 20 day moving average, it's due for a pullback. Okay? So you'll notice the institutional investors, they're the only ones that will move the stock. You and me won't. It takes lots and lots of money to move a stock for uh, just a dollar. Okay? So back here in October, they pushed it above the 20-day. Um, well, it was riding above the 20-day, but they really pushed it above, right? And they've been riding this thing well above the 20-day because it's been having good news. What they did is they put out more shares and they to raise cash. So when the stock price is up, the company itself sells shares and it dilutes the value of the stock but they get to raise cash and build more plants uh, you know put more into technology and this is a Chinese stock who knows what else they're doing with the money but some of it has to do with automation they want to make be the first EV company that has driverless vehicles in China okay and it, it probably is a good company but don't listen to people, this is, this is my opinion, they will give you good reasons to buy it, but it's your responsibility to see when it's safe. And most of your guys that have been doing this for over five years will tell you if it's below the 20-day moving average, it is on a downtrend, it's no longer bullish. I do like down here at the bottom of the chart, this is called the RSI. It, it's reaching an oversold position, right? It, if you look along down here, when it's this high, it's oftentimes due for a pullback, and that's exactly what happened, right? So, sure, big money can drive this thing up, but... You have to look at the chart. It's below the 20-day. 
who knows? So, um, your very rich investors and your banks that trade, they may want to invest in NEO, and they may want to just bounce it off this 50-day moving average. That's a possibility, but it's conjecture. They may be taking short positions right now. And the big money investors, what they also do is they play options. So if they're buying options against the price action, they're not going to hold on to their shares. They're going to sell their shares and bring it down and make money off the options. So you got to take that into consideration as well. The big banks trade stocks and they got boatloads of money and they know what they're doing. So many of your traders go by this 20 day. At least I do. And I look at it on the daily right here. See, here's your daily. Here's your weekly. See, this is high on the weekly. Right? Here's your monthly chart. You see that? When a stock does this, it's got to come down. Nobody's going to invest up here. Unless all of a sudden they started selling a lot of vehicles or, um, I don't know, they, they, they're trying to sell them to uh, Europe. So if they get a European deal, then you might have some institutional investors say, guess what? We want it above the 20-day now. Right? So all that's good, all that's in the pipeline, but from the technical charts, you got to watch this because the big investors go by the technical charts too. So you have to follow what they're doing. You're not going to move the stock up. You you sometimes you'll hope to get it at a low price and then they just bring it down further. They don't care about you or me. <laughs> okay? John signing out. Thanks for listening. Hope you weren't too bored.